Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Robert from Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. As you do notice, we usually have a Microsoft Edge icon that's right here, and it's pretty much a little different than we kind of used to remember. The old one was created by through Microsoft, but eventually they changed into the new one that's using the Chromium base that was pretty much released in January 15th, 2020. Regardless, right now I'm pretty much going to go ahead and delete this Microsoft Edge because an example, I don't want to be a person on the desktop to have this. But what we happen is, is that lots of people do that, and then somehow a new Windows update comes up, and then magically the little icon that we see here will pretty much pop back on there again, or you may even have multiples appear on there. Regardless, what we're going to do is to prevent it from happening again using some simple registry editor. Now, for the current one that I have, I honestly would just have to delete it itself for it to be gone, but we're going to prevent it from coming back on that desktop. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we get into this, if you want to help us out, click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you won't miss any episodes. So first thing you do is pretty much go to start and from here you're going to go ahead and type in reg edit. And this is what you're going to see. What you're going to look for is going into a folder called local machine. And then from there, we're going to go to software and then to policies and then Microsoft. And within here, you may have the folder. If you don't, I'm pretty much just expanding so you can see this. You would probably have to create a new key. Now, this key is pretty much is like a folder. So I'm on Microsoft right now selected. I'm going to select a new key. And this key is going to be called, if I'm correctly, edge update. So pretty much how I spelt it would probably have to be the same way. I'm not sure if it's case sensitive from uppercase to lowercase, but this is pretty much what we pretty much created. And from there, we're going to go ahead and select it. And we're going to have to create something called a new D word. Now this D word file has to be very sensitive too. So we're going to go ahead and type the stuff that needs to be done. So I created a new D word. You see, if it doesn't, you would have to press rename and there you are. We're going to go ahead and type in remove desktop shortcut default and if I'm correctly this policy will apply to all users out there for pretty much more than your own and from here we're going to go ahead and select click it and change the value of it to one you can also right click on it and press modify that takes to the same place and that pretty much does this work for it now again be sure you spell this correctly and you should be good. From this point, you can pretty much exit the registry editor, restart the computer, and you should be good. If this if this issue continues to coming up and you're having that problem, then just let us know, and I'll see if I can find another video that can prevent from this from happening again. But that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.